So first question, two part question, when did you become officially become a writer and what led you into this industry? Well, if you mean officially by having it actually published, <laughs> probably about um, three or four years ago, uh, when I published my first book on Amazon.com, it was a book called The Green King and it was for children. So um, it taught a little lesson about uh, a young frog happily going from pond to pond until he runs into a great big bullfrog. Then he had to deal with uh, bullying and all of this. So it's a story about how he overcame that. Cool. And what led you into, like what said I, you wanted to do this? Well, I've always written since I was on, eight or nine years old. But those were like short stories and poems and so forth. And I had a long career in the technical field. And when that was over, I decided to get back into writing because I enjoy it so much. So not only did I decide to get back into writing and writing stories, I thought, you know what, I'm going to publish this time. So that's kind of where it went. All right. Okay, so your book, The Pen, Sultan's Wisdom, give mm. us a brief description of what it's about. Well, I have the book now, and uh, I've got a copy here. It's called The Sultan of the Pen, and it's available on an ebook and on Amazon. And on September 16th, it'll be available in the paperback I just showed you. Okay. The book uh, covers our main hero, Harold, who purchased an antique pen, and he started writing with this pen, and the pen took over and started writing its own story. And what it wrote was a story that occurred about a thousand years earlier uh, that covered the life of a man who rose from being a street urchin in Cairo to being a sultan over a vast area of the desert. And when uh, Harold went to sleep, he dreamed, and he actually traveled back in time and witnessed this guy's life from being an orphan to being a sultan. All the battles, all the romance, all the adventures, all the crocodiles. <laughs> all kinds of cool things. But along the way, he learned a little wisdom, uh, wisdom about life. So our main character, Harold, learned from this and applied this wisdom to his own life and thus improved it. So it's a combination of entertainment, uh, education, um, I don't know, kind of a wisdom book, I suppose. But uh, it's meant to entertain, and hopefully people will gain from it. Sounds, sounds fun. Oh, yeah, it's great. Um, I have a website called is.gd slash the pen, and people can see a book trailer there. Okay. What inspired you? What gave you the idea for the story behind this book? Well, that's interesting. Um, I dreamt it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it came to me in an idea. Uh, you know how sometimes you're kind of waking up and some idea comes to you. So I quickly got up and wrote it down, some of the main ideas. And as I worked on it, it, it kind of developed a life of its own. And uh, it was awesome. It really was. Cool. I had, um, in 2017, I remember the day exactly um, because there was an event happening on that day. I had a dream. I was watching a play that I wrote. And in the dream, though, I would, people were congratulating me, but I was subconsciously saying thank you, but subconsciously I was thinking I shouldn't be taking credit for this because I haven't written this play. But I know I knew I wrote it, but I didn't actually yeah. write it. Yeah. <laughs> so when I woke up, I was like, I don't get it. And I was like, I'll write it. And yeah. so I wrote the play from a dream. So I think that's cool that you had the same thing. So... Okay, question, next question. Any advice to um, writers, any, um, kind of give us a quick journey of your, because when you're not, when you don't go to college or you don't have parents who publish books and all of a sudden you want to publish books. Right. You have nowhere to, you don't know where to go. You don't know where to start. You don't know who to ask. You don't know what website to go to. Mm -hmm. So for those who are thinking about publishing or thinking about writing, give them kind of your backstory of what you went through to get to where you are now. Well, I knew that uh, in order to publish, I had to 
I had to find a publisher. But starting out in the background, I had collected some books, older books, on uh, how to write. Um, and I got these like at a used bookstore, so they were a dollar or two. And it gave me some of the basic principles of writing a story. So I learned from that how to write a story uh, more than just writing something down I thought of. Uh, and that helped me, helped me form the story better. Um, I also asked friends of mine who maybe were a teacher or had written before and asked their opinion on writing it, take a look at what I've been doing, give me some advice. In addition, online, um, I Googled a couple of places, uh, Goodreads, I Googled that, I Googled uh, Book Baby, I Googled uh, just a basic question, how do you write a book, how do you write a story? And there was all kinds of resources that popped up so that you don't have to go to college and get a literary degree. You don't have to get officially educated. Uh, there's ways to cut through all of that and get down to the essentials. And it's applying your time. If you have a, a good interest in it, uh, I always applied a little bit of time each day so that it wasn't overwhelming. And I would write a bit uh, in the morning. That's usually when I'm pretty, pretty good at uh, thinking and awake. And so I worked on it every day. And the key there is don't give up. Don't give up hope. Apply a little bit of your imagination, a little bit of your effort every day. That you do have to discipline yourself with because most people who write would give up or lose interest. But I can tell you from my own experience, uh, if you write a little bit each day, even just a paragraph or a couple sentences, it keeps it going in your head. And you'll think about it later, or you'll, you'll think about it when you go to sleep and you get up and you say, oh yeah, there's another idea. So keep working on it. And uh, <clears throat> then when you're taking a look at, uh, well, how do I get this printed? I, you know, it's too expensive to go down and have um, FedEx or UPS or somebody print it up, but then how, where do I, how do I ship it? So all of that's expensive. Um, there are websites, I think lulu.com that you used, uh, book baby that I used uh, help you uh, obtain that but you can also go to Amazon and they have a, a section in there uh, to help you publish an ebook as well as a print book and it gives you the step by steps of how to provide it to them and they will review it and and, and tell you where to tweak and what to do it gets frustrating <laughs> it does <laughs> uh, there are times you're going what I don't understand this the heck with it. So Google a lot, ask lots of questions, and there are answers out there. So that that's the main thing, because uh, writing is a lonely job. Nobody knows what's in your head. Mm -hmm. Nobody understands what you're writing down because it's it's formulating, it's working. Surround yourself with people that are creative, that do the same thing or something else. So they they kind of empathize with you and they understand the struggle of creativity and what it takes to get it done. Uh, so I went through all of those. Um, I had other life experiences that helped me in that regard. But uh, for new uh, writers, people who want to write, um, it's a very wonderful gift, the urge that you have to do this. It's a very wonderful feeling to write down what you're thinking and to put it on paper because you'll see that there are people that have lived a long time ago that you can read and it's like they're there talking to you and now you're doing the same thing. So maybe far in the future, somebody will pick your book up and read it. and There you are. <laughs> cool. Thanks yeah, sure. Um, last question. If you could have lunch and conversation with any author, whether they're dead or alive, who would it be and why? Uh, Mark Twain. Okay. The reason Mark Twain is uh, he used to travel a lot. I used to travel a lot. He uses humor. I like to use humor. He uh, speaks or spoke a lot about his travels to the public. I'm a public speaker. So we aligned along those areas. But I enjoyed his humor and his wit. Uh, I enjoyed his commentary. Um, I, I liked what he had to say. So if I ever had to meet him, I have a lot of questions. Uh, I am 
think he gives a lot for what he does in terms of writing. And so that's, that's who I would talk to. An exciting new book by Dennis Galloway, The Pen, Sultan's Wisdom. An ancient pen found in an antique store. Took over Harold's hand to write in Arabic. And took him back in time a thousand years to an ancient Egypt to witness the life of a man. From a poor camel boy to become a wealthy sultan. Finding wisdom. Changing his life forever. The pen, Sultan's Wisdom.